and welcome to Monte Rosso. Could have swore I parked my car at the car park. Lots of displays as well, so you can see where you are when you're about to get off. The trains themselves are absolutely amazing and really reliable. It's also worth pointing out, when we got the train from Genoa, when you arrive at the station, the train's already at the platform. And if you're going down to Cinque Terre, don't wait to get on. Make sure it's the right train, get on, get a seat, because it gets packed. Welcome to Monte Rosso. I got here yesterday. That's the first sort of filming I've done. Obviously when you first arrive, you're just looking for where you're staying and trying to get in and trying to find your feet. So I didn't really film an awful lot yesterday. I observed an awful lot yesterday. Um, Monte Rosso is very popular. Which is unsurprising, considering it's on the Cinque Terre, but I mean, mad busy. And it's, it's not even full season yet. So, everything takes you a little bit longer than you think. Walking somewhere is going to take you longer than you think. Getting something to eat is going to take longer than you think. Um, getting reservations and places to eat of an evening. Um, we're not sure if you can make reservations yet, but again, all restaurants are extremely busy. So I'd build that into your trip that you might have to stand around a lot to wait for a table because the views from the tables, for obvious reasons, are rather nice. Monte Rosso is absolutely lovely. Now, the accommodation, unlike some of the other villages, towns, um, it's pretty much on the same level as the train station so you literally come out the train station and a lot of the buildings a lot of hotels are all on that level unlike the others where you're up in the hills there is accommodation and hotels further up the hill and there's a trade-off with those because it's the Cinque Terre and the only way you can get from one place to the other other than walking is the train um, the train is extremely close and, and runs through the middle of Monte Rosso. Um, and you can hear them. You can hear them. So if you are a light sleeper or you don't like train noise, 
I can only speak for Monterosso because I'm here. Um, you will hear trains. In our hotel, however, that's not the only issue. The, the walls are made of Weetabix, really, so when everyone got up early this morning, you can hear them, but um, I slept like a log. The hotel is very clean. Um, the Wi-Fi is amazing. Um, and it's close to everything. So, I've got up this morning, it's half six. I didn't plan to get up at half six, but um, some of the neighbors on our floor decided they were going walking at about half five this morning, so I've been awake since then. So I thought, as I didn't really get much footage yesterday, because people, I'm gonna have a little walk around this morning. So let's go and have a look at Monterosso. station from the centre of town, Mike. Right there. So we've had a bit of a change of a plan today. The plan was to get up early and go walking, like our neighbours did this morning. But we had so much difficulty trying to find somewhere to eat last night. <laughs> but the sandwiches and the, the stuff that we bought for the walk uh, became our evening meal last night. So we couldn't really go this morning because we wouldn't have had anything for the walk. So I'm not entirely sure what we're doing. Might still get up in the hills because the original plan was to go right down to the bottom end of Cinque Terre, Rio Maggiore do a couple of sections of that and get the train back and then get the train down to where we stopped and come back. But I think we might have to just do a leg from here and up into the hills because the weather's not playing either this week. There's a lot of rain and a lot of thunderstorms planned. So trying to fit in walks around thunder and lightning and hills um, is a bit problematic. But you know what? If I get to walk it, I get to walk it. And if I don't, I'll just jump the train to all the little villages because, to be honest, I'm here to experience Cinque Terre. I'd love to walk it. I'd love to get up in the hills. Um, but these villages are just so pretty and the people are so friendly and the beer is nice and cold. So, I'll we'll have to see what happens. <laughs> Much like most of my videos um, planned to the nth detail they're not so let's see what we get up to I'll see you later
Friday then. Just on my way back and picking up my pizza. There's two sides to Monterosso, or two parts, more importantly. The part where we are, where the train station is. But you'll see in the earlier clip, when I approach the tunnel, there's a little path on the right, to the right of the anchor. If you go through the tunnel, or you take the right hand side, you still end up in the same place. But you get that view if you take that right hand turn. <laughs> 